Guys, welcome back. We are now joined by our host and producer at USA Today, Ralphie Aversa. It's baseball season, Ralphie. I know you're a huge fan. How excited are you the season's back? I am so pumped, Mackenzie and Annalise. I mean, even just having the 60-game season last year and having that simple pleasure of sitting outside, listening to the game on the radio with a cold beer, to now have that for 162 games is pretty awesome. I know you recently caught up with Yankees first baseman Luke Voigt. What's his status? All right, so uh, during spring training, a left knee injury uh, came to light uh, for Mr. Voigt, and I asked him about it during our chat, and he kind of downplayed. It turns out he had a torn meniscus, required surgery, out four to six weeks, according to manager Aaron Boone, although the surgery was successful. And that, of course, allowed Jay Bruce, who recently celebrated his 34th birthday, to make the roster. As for Luke Voigt, you know, he and I had a, a great conversation. Luke's a, a jovial guy. What you see is what you get. He's a fan favorite in the Bronx, certainly looking forward to having fans back at Yankee Stadium. We chatted about that. We also chatted about the longtime Yankee policy of their players being clean shaven. Why did we chat about that? Well, you can take a look right here. Luke teaming up with Chick Hydro. Uh, obviously, the Yankees, a long-standing policy of the players uh, being clean shaven. Maybe sometimes having a mustache. Obviously, remember uh, another guy that manned first base for, for quite some time, Don Mattingly, a, a guy I watched growing up. But uh, Luke, I guess talk about first why you, you partnered here with Chick. Well, obviously, you know, obviously Yankees have a great history and, you know, obviously uh, shaving constantly. You know, I've always had razors that have had, you know, irritation to the skin and I recommend it. I shave my arms too, so it's been great on the arms as well. And uh, it's a great product. So you can get it at any uh, like CVS, Walgreens, Walmart or anything. And it's uh, great if you forget one on the road. I I'm curious, who is it? You know, let's just say you haven't shaven in, in, in a few days and you, and you got a little more than a stubble. Are you allowed to go out for batting practice with that? Or does somebody stop you beforehand and say, hey, Grab the shake, buddy. You got to be clean shaven before you, you start taking BP swings. Well, I think some of these guys have taken a little advantage of with these masks um, and uh, <laughs> hiding some of their facial hair. But you want to name names or no? Uh, I'll keep the names out. But um, <laughs> but yeah, Booney Booney will uh, play some jokes at you if you get a little bit too long. And um, but you know you got to respect the respect the pinstripes. And obviously, it, it's a pain in the butt sometimes to shave all the time, but. Um, if you get a good razor, it's easy. And we got a couple bald guys on the team, so I recommend, recommend it for them too. So, uh, Before we let you go, you, you mentioned obviously uh, with the team getting ready to, to come back to the Bronx and uh, starting off the season at 20% capacity. And you, know, you and I have talked about it before, you being such a fan favorite. Uh, what's it going to be like for you to have fans back in the Bronx? Just to be back in New York playing meaningful games, I mean, you know, teams – you know, it's harder for teams to play, obviously, with, the you know, our Yankee fans and Yankee Nation, you know, always having our back and defending us. So I can't wait, you know, even for roll call, my first roll call, and it'll be a freaking year and a half. So uh, hopefully, you know, as the season goes, that percentage goes up and up and, you know, we get a full capacity by playoffs. But um, you just got to stay safe and obviously do the best things possible and, uh, you know, just follow the protocols. Ravi, I'm sure you had a blast talking to Luke Boy as a Yankees fan. Uh, speaking to the 20% capacity, I know you recently had a chance to go to a game. Talk to us what that was like being back in, in the ballpark. Uh, I'm sure you had to deal with a lot of COVID protocols. Tell us what it took to get from point A to point B in the stadium for you. Yankee Stadium working with the city and the state, a number of COVID protocols. Uh, as far as getting into the stadium besides a ticket, you need either proof of full vaccination, a PCR test 72 hours prior, or a rapid test six hours prior. Now I have an urgent care that's only a few blocks away from my apartment here in New York City. So I went the rapid uh, test route and was able to get that prior. Once you get to the stadium, you show the negative test uh, result at the gate, along of course with your ticket, that gets you entrance into the stadium. We're in the Babe Ruth Plaza here, outside of gate six at Yankee Stadium. Normally, this would be packed. It would be tough for me to even like walk through here. You'd have lines out the door, people trying to get in, so on and so forth. A little easier to move around here. So lots of protocols are in place, but once you enter Yankee Stadium, what is that experience like? Well, it's certainly different, Annalise. I mean, you know, Yankee Stadium seats about 50,000, and so you only have uh, a max of 10,000. I believe the uh, announced uh, attendance at some of these weekday games uh, this past week was around the 9,000 area. So right off the bat, 
You have socially distanced uh, pods and obviously areas throughout the concourse where people can stand to watch the game, no eating or drinking in the concourse. You have to do that in your assigned seat. I think the most poignant part of the entire experience to me was the end of the game. Some people didn't even get out of their seats. They just sat there and just kind of took in the view. And, and it got me thinking, you know, for many of these people, for a hardcore Yankee fan, the last time they were at the stadium was October of 2019 when the Yankees were in the ALCS and would eventually lose in six games to the Astros. So for them to be back over a year later with everything this country's gone through, with everything that New York City has gone through, it was a, a really cool moment. I know I personally can't wait to get back to to games in person, in stadium. But thank you again, Ralphie, so much for joining us on this week's episode of Sports Seriously. We appreciate all your insight. Thank you both. Hey, sports fans. If you want to see more videos like this, check out some of our other ones right here. And if you like what you see, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more from USA Today Sports.